Pittsburgh Regional Transit riders say they routinely experience delays waiting for buses. And part of the reason is there's still a shortage of drivers. As Chris Hoffman reports, they fear this could lead to service cuts. The transit union says they're down about 200 drivers. So for riders, that means there's times where the bus is a little bit later. Some cases not even coming. Marcel Walker uses the buses to go anywhere. It's actually the only way he gets anywhere. I don't drive. You know, I do not drive. I don't own a car. I don't have a license. So it is all important for me to be able to get on a bus and be able to get to where I need to. So for riders like him, they need the service to be reliable and not leave them behind. He says he's noticed where there have been some shortfalls due to a driver shortage. This is recently this past week. I had that happen once or twice where buses just didn't show up. And he's not alone. I've seen where buses haven't even arrived. According to the transit union, the shortage is in part because of people retiring and classes not being big enough to fill the need. 42 drivers are going through arbitration after losing their jobs for the vaccination requirements. The people of Allegheny County, it, it should have better service. But the PRT says the numbers cited by the union are misleading. They argue they are short workers due to sick days, vacations, and leaves routinely. It affects every aspect of how people live their lives, right? How often they're able to go to the grocery store, when they can pick up their kids from child care. In a statement, they say their schedule service is based on their current staffing. Rider groups like Pittsburghers for Public Transit say they look forward to expansion programs, but don't want current routes to be scrapped. It affects every aspect of how people live their lives, right? How often they're able to go to the grocery store, when they can pick up their kids from child care. According to the PRT, service rate cuts have been less than 2% since September and 1% since the new year. They admit right now is a challenge for transit companies to recover from the pandemic effects. But the union feels more can be done to get people behind the wheel. The operators are the lifeblood of the industry. You know, they're the front line, the face of the organization, and they're all the ones that are always getting the shortest end of the stick, it seems to be. The PRT says they are getting 27 people to become drivers, and they have raised their training rate up to $19 an hour. The full PRT statement is on our website now. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.